Hey guys, welcome back to Coming In TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the history and origins of the Ghostbusters, Ray Stans. Ray was born in the Bronx in 1959, according to the real Ghostbusters animated series. However, this would put him nine years younger than Peter. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Dan Aykroyd's real birthday of July 1st, 1952 as Ray's. Ray was raised on Long Island by his doctor father and housewife mother. He has a divorced bisexual sister named Jean, who's a hardcore Democrat and journalist in San Francisco, with a daughter from her failed marriage and a macho brother named Carl, who's an Air Force officer and an alcoholic with two sons in the Boy Scouts, and is a hardcore Republican. None of his siblings speak to each other or him. One other thing I will incorporate into Ray's history that is actually part of Dan Aykroyd's is that he's on the autism spectrum, though very high functioning. Ray and Peter met after enrolling in Professor Tonic's esoteric literature course their freshman year of college. It was Peter who would eventually introduce Ray to Egon. Eventually, Ray and Egon would go on to invent the PKE meter and the rest of the Ghostbusters arsenal of equipment. Ray is an expert in paranormal history and metallurgy, having attained his PhD in parapsychology, and well learned in various other disciplines, such as engineering. Before college, Ray had entered the seminary, but eventually left to pursue his doctorate. It's thought that he left the seminary due to becoming agnostic. During his time working at the university, Ray spent his days meeting with and interviewing people who've had encounters with the paranormal. After he, Peter, and Egon were fired from the university, Peter convinced him to obtain a third mortgage on his family home, which Ray's father had willed to him after meeting Peter because he figured Ray was going to need all the help he could get. Ray's parents were in a 727 that went down on its way to Puerto Rico. After this, Ray ended up punching Egon when the latter kept insisting that Ray's parents may still be alive in the Bermuda Triangle. It's because of Ray's childlike nature that Vigo was able to possess him in Ghostbusters 2. After the events of the second film, Ray went on to open Ray's occult books after losing everything in the closing of the Ghostbusters. He also worked side by side with fellow Ghostbuster Winston to perform at parties. In IDW Comics, Winston expresses that Ray is addicted to watching Kung Fu Theater, and Ron mentions Ray's poor math skills. In the Extreme Ghostbusters finale, it's revealed that Ray got a job at a university after the original team closed down the Ghostbusters. But due to an experiment gone wrong, he lost his job and eventually began working as a mechanic at a used car dealership. In the IDW Comics, Ray begins a relationship with Ghost Smasher Jenny Murray. Jenny was eventually killed in a ghost attack but returned as a class 4 ghost who assisted the Ghostbusters and maintained her relationship with Ray. There you have it guys, the history and origins of the Ghostbusters Ray stands. Make sure you come back next time when we'll be going over the history and origins of the Ghostbusters Egon Spangler. Take care geeks. If you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.